the RTX 3080 Ti is right around the corner. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So we've had delay after delay after delay for the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, but now finally we have the full specs as well as a picture and some performance numbers for the RTX 3080 Ti. And I think some of the stuff you guys are going to really like and some of the stuff you guys are going to really not like. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at that picture. So taking a look here, we can see that it is the GA102-225-A1 and this image as well as all the information I'm going to be talking about today does come from the website videocards.com and I will have a link in the the description below but in any case since we've taken a look at that picture already let's go ahead and talk about those specs and then we'll get into those performance numbers so taking a look at the specs here we can see that the nvidia rtx 3080 ti is going to have around 80 gpu clusters 10,240 cuda cores around 80 rt cores 320 tensor slash tmus 112 rops a base clock of 1365 megahertz a boost clock of 1665 megahertz which by the way those numbers are going to be a little bit lower than the rtx RTX 3090 and we'll talk about uh, that significance in a little bit here but it will also have 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X which is exactly half the amount of memory that you can find on the RTX 3090 then it has the same 384 bit bus that you'll find on the 3090 it has 19 gigabits per second memory instead of the 19.5 gigabits per second that you can find on the RTX 3090 once again and then it actually has a 320 watt TDP which is actually a little bit bizarre because the RTX 3090 has a 350 watt TDP whereas the RTX 3080 actually only has that same 320 watt TDP and I think this is actually pretty significant here because you know although this GPU does have half the amount of memory that you can find on the RTX 3090 and of course that will draw some amount of power it's a little bit bizarre to me that it's going to have the same TDP as the RTX 3080 and I do think that this is partially due to the fact that the RTX 3080 does have slightly worse silicon than the RTX 3090 but like I mentioned earlier the RTX 3080 Ti does seem to have actually lower clocks than both the RTX 3090 as well as the RTX 3080 so that definitely could contribute to this slightly lower power draw that you're seeing on the RTX 3080 Ti. Uh, however this is going to be a lot of CUDA cores to be pumping into just the 320 watt limit which in the past 320 watts would have seemed like a lot but these days it really doesn't seem like that much considering how much power these cards can draw especially when you take a look at some of the cards with the higher power draw limits of like 480 or 500 watts so getting this all into 320 watts it does make me kind of wonder is the RTX 3080 Ti going to have slightly better silicon than not only the RTX 3080 but also the RTX 3090 which could potentially lead it to have better overclocking performance overall especially if you get a third party card uh, that's say binned as well as having a higher power limit so we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front and if that does end up being the case I do believe the RTX 3080 Ti is definitely going to be the better card for gamers because not only could you potentially be getting better overclocks out of that card but on top of that it's also likely going to have the resizable bar support right out of the box so you're not going to have to go ahead and flash the BIOS to get that extra performance so that's definitely good as well but rounding things up here we can see that it supposedly is going to have an MSRP of 999 US dollars which definitely makes sense to me and then the release time is apparently in May of 2021 which has been rumored and leaked in the past so yes all this definitely does make a lot of sense and then in terms of the specs I do think that the RTX 3080 Ti is looking really impressive and like I mentioned earlier I think for gamers this is definitely going to be the go-to card at least assuming that you can actually purchase this card uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front because supposedly the RTX 3080 ADTI is going to have some mining blocks in place. However, you know, even if miners don't end up buying the 3080Ti, there's just going to be a whole lot of demand for this card. It just seems like there's an insatiable demand for any GPUs whatsoever right now, it just coming from gamers alone. So again, we'll have to wait and see if you can get your hands on it. I think on launch day, because this thing has been pushed back so many times, you are going to have a somewhat decent chance of getting some sort of card, especially if they launch both the Founders Edition as well as the AIB models on the same day. But hey, only time will tell. But now that we've gone over both the specs as well as taking a look at that image I think now it's time to go over the performance and this is probably where a lot of people are not going to be too happy because the performance numbers that we got uh, they're not for gaming they're not for synthetic benchmarks the only performance that we were given was in mining performance which of course a lot of people including me really aren't that interested in but this is something we should talk about because it does have serious implications on whether or not you're going to be able to actually purchase the RTX 3080 Ti and here's the bad news guys this RTX 3080 Ti mining performance is incredibly high now there is some silver lining to 
this, it looks like it was a tuned GPU. We're looking at a GPU that actually has a clock speed on the memory of 21.4 gigabits per second running at 278 watts. So it's definitely going to be higher performance than what you would see out of the box. But either way, we're looking at a performance of 118.9 mega hashes per second, which is actually really, really high for a GPU. And that's going to make it so a lot of GPU miners are going to definitely want to get their hands on this GPU. However, uh, there is one other thing we have to keep in mind when taking a look at this that could be good news for gamers. And that's that this is potentially a qualification sample or at least videocards.com does seem to believe it is a QS sample. And if that's the case, well, then the actual retail models could potentially have uh, the well rumored, I believe, mining block put into place. Now, whether or not this mining block is going to be effective, we don't really know for sure. It wasn't really effective the first time around with the RTX 3060 as Nvidia eventually accidentally leaked the unlocked performance for mining for the RTX 3060. So yeah, that didn't really work out too well. However, it looks like at least the rumors are stating that apparently they're going to come back in force with this mining lock on the GeForce cards. Uh, so if it does end up actually working and this does end up being just a qualification sample, then it is certainly possible that this RTX 3080 Ti is going to be a little bit easier to get your hands on than say an RTX 3080. Uh, we also have to keep in mind that the 3080 Ti is probably going to have higher yields than the 3080. It does seem like the RTX 3090 is getting pretty high yields and if they can make $1,000 off of a card versus making $700 off of a card, they're definitely going to try and do that. So yeah, I do expect that you're probably going to have an easier time getting a 3080 Ti uh, than getting an RTX 3080. But again, we don't really know for sure what's going to happen or how effective this mining lock is really going to be. So if you're a gamer and you want to get the RTX 3080 Ti, you're just going to have to pray that the mining lock works at least long enough for you to get one of these things. And then on top of that, we're just going to have to hope that demand decreases as more and more people go back to work. But hey, that's something that we also can't really know for sure at this point. But either way, I do think you are going to have at least a slightly easier time getting the 3080 Ti. Uh, so just wake up early when that launch day ends up happening sometime probably around mid-May and just have your clicker finger ready to go and have your payment methods ready because there's going to be a lot of people competing for this graphics card considering how powerful this is likely going to be. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that the RTX 3080 Ti mining limiter is actually going to work or do you think that miners are going to go ahead and buy it and unlock it anyway? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.